Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wonderful, beautiful family. Uh, welcome to the mental house. I, I got a question for y'all because I'm really on the late show. Um, and, and this little, uh, well, let me say this first. Y'all, I didn't know, duh, that when we watch verses, that we are actually, I mean, duh, I know the name is self-explanatory and verses is right there, but I thought it was more of um, just a catapult. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't think that we really were pitting these artists against each other because I'm not here for that at all, you know, and I thought that we would see, you know, I don't know what my understanding of it is because when I hear some people say, like yesterday, uh, they say, well, who do you think won? And that's when it just changed it for me. Um, I was more versus of who has more hits, um, not who's the better person, who won, who's, who's the better singer. So now I need for y'all to clarify that for me. What does the verses mean? Because I think in terms of the music business, everybody got everybody has their own lane. And if you can walk out on faith and believe in what you do and know that the God given talent that you have um is your talent, then um I don't understand how you can pit those two against one another. But if it's just like like who has more hits, then I can you know I can relate to that. So I don't know if I sound crazy, um, because I really was uh saying to some um people that were talking about who you think won between Brandy and Monica, and I was like, well nobody won. Well who do you think won between Patty and Gladys? Wow. Okay. Well. Do you want to know who has more hits? Then we will probably have to uh, go with Gladys. I think Gladys has more hits than um, Patty. But there's no way in hell would I be asking or are we saying that in the same vein as who's the better singer? Mm -mm, it don't go there for me. So I want y'all to leave that. Leave a comment for me with that and tell me if I'm out of order. Or if um, y'all agree with what I'm saying. Okay, so I want y'all to hold on one minute while I go and take these dogs outside. Let them out in the yard. And I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, I'm back. I done already told some of my subs that I'm going to um go. I plan on trying to go live um, next month, right before Thanksgiving. I think I'm going to live stream my dog's uh, birth. So that's what I uh, intend on doing. In fact, I let him out right now, and we're we're experiencing now in the Midwest where I'm at, where the fall is almost on us, and um, you know begins to daylight saving time is also about to be in effect. So it stays dark pretty early, you know, pretty late in the, in the morning. And so I try to be vigilant because. You know, there are people walking out, going to work and stuff. And my male, he's very protective. He likes to bark at people when they go past his property. And on a couple, you know, a couple times I've seen people run out in the street, actually. And it really spooked me because I don't want him to scare people to the point where they're harming themselves. So hopefully I got a guy coming over here to back to um, close in the, my half of my yard to give them a run, but not allow them to run the whole, you know, property like that because, you know, I don't want nobody to jump out in the street and I live on a street where you can get hurt. So with that being said, back to where I'm coming from, you guys. Let me say this. <laughs> the main thing I want to say to a lot of my listeners who've been here from day one, Day one, 
I talk about our families and I talk about the narcissistic uh, abuse that a lot of us have recovered or recovering from. But in my study and in my hours and in my uh, thirst for understanding what narcissistic behavior was, I ended up finding out that in my research, that this is basically what this country is ran off of. It's ran off of gaslighting. It's ran off of projection. It's ran off of lies. And so when you point that out to the narcissist, which is the dominant society, they don't like it. It's like an injury. So then they call out the police force on you or and they force you into a situation where you have to fight them. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? And, or you be passive. And then what happens with the narcissist when he has a lot of people around him and they're not saying anything, they actually think that you like that treatment. You don't. But you don't know how to defend yourself against it. And in this situation with black people, we can't because they'll call out the army. They'll call out the National Guard. We don't have that kind of backup like that. But we clearly know we're dealing with people who are psychotic. A government that is psychotic, obviously, who would rob Native people, put them, take their land from them, take over the land, import slaves, and even in, even the ones that were on the, the the Native indigenous that were on the land to enslave them. And then even hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years later, you never had any peace. All through the time that you tried to subjugate people, you've had uprisings. You've had all those things that let you know that, hey, we're pushing back from this damn behavior that you're trying to put on us. No grown person want to be beat. Are you sick? And why would you rape me, my woman, my son, my husband? You are crazy. You are branding us with branding irons. You are doing all kinds of psychological madness, abusive, is beyond abuse. It's beyond abuse. And every institution that upholds your behavior, in my opinion, is just like the flying monkeys. And so I can't get nobody to say, amen, somebody. Because that's exactly what it is. We are living in a narcissistic society. And so it breeds this kind of stuff. They don't, they think Donald, you know, a lot of people really like Donald Trump, think he's wonderful. He's good. Well, not only do I personally think his followers and him are deplorable, they're deplorable. And the thing about it is, you guys got the nerve to silence, try to silence Farrakhan. Because some of y'all got y'all feelings butt hurt about what he said about Jewish people. Yet, Donald Trump is a white man who's allowed to say all this evil, mean, crazy shit about black people, Mexican people, anybody that's brown, that has hue. That's why I said I really fight sometimes with, are you human? Because there are there is no hue in your skin. So, with that, and I know you come from me. I know you are the eve of the earth, and that's why I'm so patient with you. That's why some of that stuff that you mistaken as uh, submissive is just like a mother looking at her wayward child, like, I'm going to have to eat my young. Because he's unfit. He's unfit now. Or whatever thought goes through your mind when you're dealing with a wayward, destructive, horrible kid. And I'm saying this because when I heard that I had a lot of you trying to discredit the 1619 Project, when I heard, when I hear things that, like, People say, well, he should have did this, that, and the other when he shot down my 12-year-old, and they don't want to say anything about that. Then it lets me know that 
I look at all y'all sideways because I don't have time to wonder about which kind of white person that you are. I really don't. You're going to show yourself and I'm going to be able to deal with you accordingly. But I'm not showing all my teeth when it comes to you because we don't have a history of enslaving y'all. Y'all have a history of beating, whipping, chaining, raping, abusing, branding, whatever kind of destructive behavior you can possibly think of. You've done it to the black man and woman. And then have the nerve to say that the 1619 Project <laughs> didn't ever happen. But you got a, 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 a person in the White House who actually called for the death at one of the death penalty for four teenagers who was accused of raping a white woman. And he goes to lead the country. So what we have to come to terms with, and there's a lot of white people out there doing the work. Like I said, I love them. And I know who they are. People like, you know, Tim Weiss, people like Robin D'Angelo. People, there's a lot of people out there. And in their own way, they're trying to educate their people. I mean, they're the privileged group. They don't need they, they can't do nothing for us. But I appreciate them because there's a lot of, of black people that don't even want to deal with them. Ah, forget it. They think they know everything about that. Well, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I just know who is on the lower side. What side are you on? And I can't apologize for white people's deceptive, dirty, demonic history. And I can't listen to somebody telling me that Farrakhan should be silenced when I have to listen to Donald Trump lying every single day. The thing about I want to know is prove what Farrakhan said to be lies. Because on a lot of this stuff, I, I see a lot of Jewish scholars, not the ones that hate them, not the Rupert Murdoch's or the ones who may run the stations. And I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about some of the rabbis who love Farrakhan, who agree totally with him, who were part of his research team to study the relationship between blacks and Jews. Y'all don't want to talk about that. And that's rather narcissistic because the truth repels a demon. I mean, it doesn't repel, it, 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 in other words, it, yeah, the truth yeah, it repels him. He's got to get away by any means necessary. And I'm not meaning to make this a conversation about Farrakhan and the rabbis, but I'm saying as a nation, what kind of hypocrites and what side of hypocrisy are we going to continue to start? Y'all, not us. Because we got to deal with the truth every day because we, we're living with monsters. But the, for those of y'all who have participated, who have benefited from this genocide and this abuse that has been done to my people and people who look like me, what do you say about getting your people together? What do you say at the family dinner when somebody calls off and says one of those nigger, uh, one, I'm sorry, ooh, blah, 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 one of those type of things? What do you do? I know this video is going to be um, limited, and that's why I just got to start another channel um, uh, um, so I can talk freely and be live freely so I won't be flagged and all that kind of stuff like that. And we can converse freely um, because it's almost like I don't even like to talk about politics. I'd rather talk about music. I'd rather talk about the people I met in show business. That keeps my blood pressure down to some degree. To some degree. Because you can never escape it. You're alive. But this this stuff here, this blatant hypocrisy, you know, and then lastly, for the sad black people that's sitting out there talking about blacks for Trump. And first of all, uh, before I go on, y'all misunderstanding Ice Cube 
first of all. And I agree with what he said. And you know, I mean, I agree with what he said, I, period. But we don't want to stop there. We don't want to stop there because I'll lose my train of thought. Those of y'all who are blacks for Trump, like Candace Owens and the Jesse Lee Peterson types, and those of y'all who are out there, um, you know, celebrating him as if you really, really, really uh, believe in his political platinum plan, which is an insult in itself. But those of y'all who roll like that, one day soon, when we have a nation of our own, we're going to deal with y'all. Just like America deals with her traitors, we're going to deal with you. Because for you to take trinkets like Judas, to sell us out, just like Julie, uh, Judas Iscariot, that's who you guys are. How can you support somebody that's calling you names? My African-American. Look at my African-American over there. And you foolish enough. And you uh, have no integrity. Because you'll take the money and allow somebody to talk about you, your mama, and your kids, and your people in that fashion. You're sick. You're sick. It's, this stuff is a bipartisan issue. Treating people like human beings is not a Democrat or Republican thing. What the hell wrong with y'all? See how psychotic you are? And I swear, if I could just get away from y'all, you know, and like that's why you hear us teaching, because we need to get away from y'all. We just don't get alone. And your thinking is so stinking and so crazy that we're supposed to sit here and love the abuse like a bad lover. And then you got people like Candace Owens. Oh, it ain't that bad. It's really your problem. Look at all the houses he bought you. Look at all of this he bought you like a bad lover in a relationship with an abusive person. One day soon. Anyway, I'm going to get on, y'all. I had to do my rant for the morning. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.